The Ripple SEC lawsuit is supposedly going to be resolved with a settlement by March 31st of 2023. But the big question is, what is the price of XRP going to be upon that happening, and what exactly can we expect it to happen? In today's video, we're going to be analyzing all of this. In today's video, we're going to be talking about all of this, and then giving you our personal price predictions as per March 31st of 2023, or the settlement date of Ripple and the SEC. But before we do that, I want to ask you guys to please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel with your post notifications on and share this video to your friends and family the goal of today's video 500 likes so make sure you guys do your part and let's get right into the video in a recent poll on twitter within regards to whether ripple and the sec are actually going to settle on march 31st of 2023 53.7 percent of people said they believe so this opinion comes as a result of many news sources that have leaked and revealed information that the settlement is going to happen between ripple and the sec and the sec will be offering settlement by march 31st some of these include rumors of settlement by march 31st ripple ceo announcing he's even settlement with the SEC, reports of Ripple and the SEC meeting together, Ripple's attorney predicting settlement by March 31st, and the SEC internal meeting, also known as the Sunshine Meetings, in which they're going to be discussing settlement just one day before that actual SEC Ripple offer. All right, now before we do a deep dive into the price analysis of XRP by the settlement date of March 31st, 2023, we would like to go ahead and add to the list of points that prove March 31st, 2023 is the date of settlement. In fact, in today's video there is a crucial point that was just revealed that i'm going to be discussing and we're going to jump into that right now the cftc also known as the commodity futures trading commission recently released the fact that they believe xrp is a commodity and are planning to add it on to their list this would be completely contradictory of what the sec is claiming which is the fact that xrp is a security if the cftc were to continue and deem xrp commodity and the sc were to deem xrp security there'd be a lot of internal issues which would be two federal government institutions deeming one, you know, cryptocurrency two different things and you understand how much pressure both of these institutions would be facing mainly the sec for the lawsuit now this would all be completely different if the sec were to settle with ripple in that case xrp would be deemed a cryptocurrency and the cftc would have the rights to deem it a commodity this would be perfect for all xrp holders and once again i believe that this cftc statement that xrp could be a commodity and they might add it to the commodities list could once again emphasize the fact that a settlement is actually going to take place in fact just recently trading volumes for xrp have spiked into the billions of dollars on three of korea's top exchanges by volume on the back of the tokens 26 percent rise in the past week and this comes as the interest amid speculation that xrp might be classified as a commodity by the us sftc now before we move forward i want to remind you guys of metalcrypto.com where you can buy your personalized metal crypto coins like these juicy ripple xrp coin with key which looks absolutely fantastic and extremely nice you can also get yourself the new xrp coin with case it's actually a newer style also looks absolutely fantastic and comes in gold and or silver now keep in mind that you have a ton of other cryptocurrencies like litcoin bitcoin pukidor ethereum cardano dogecoin and a ton of other ones even my personal favorite or my second personal favorite xlm stellar but yeah, make sure you guys check them out as they're consistently adding in new cryptocurrency metal coins. And of course, you will get 10% off if you do use the link in the description. That being said, let's get right back into the video. So lately, the price of XRP has been consistently pumping like crazy, with XRP pumping over 40% in the last week. And this trend has just continually increased as we got closer to the March 31st date. But the real big question is, what and how much do I predict the price of XRP is going to be? on March 31st, or more importantly, it's on settlement date. Because the whole price analysis that I have done is based on the settlement of Ripple and the SEC, which is projected to be on March 31st. And so thus, let's get right into how I got my numbers and what is the number that you should expect XRP to be on settlement. So I posted this analysis on March 10th and make sure you guys follow my Twitter because I'm consistently posting on there at Cryptic Geek News. But my XRP price predictions for 2023 are as follows. So I do believe that there will be a settlement, a lawsuit settlement, of course, and this will cause the price of XRP to make a new all time high at around $6. Now keep in mind shortly after we will see a retracement in fact a major retracement which typically happens as a result of a major quick pump 
This retracement will lead to XRP going down in value and stabilizing around the $4.50 mark. Now, I do believe there's going to be a lot of sell pressure and then it will, of course, stabilize at $4.50. But again, this is typical for any situation in which a cryptocurrency does a massive pump. Now, shortly after that, I believe that a lot of the exchanges will relist XRP. So we will see a wide scale relisting of XRP on all the major exchanges like Coinbase, Kraken, Binance, all the major platforms that were forced to delist XRP as a result of the Ripple vs. SEC lawsuit are not going to happily relist XRP because the lawsuit is now over. This is going to cause the price of XRP to trigger $7 to $13. So again, another massive pump is going to come as a result. And I do believe we'll see another retracement generally stabilizing around $7 in this time. Now, the price could go way above that because as you guys know, Ripple plans to do an IPO, that which is going to once again push the price of XRP high this is of course known to be after the lawsuit now I will go ahead and say that it could surpass $13 but this is my price prediction as of the settlement date so once it's actually settled and we get the announcement I think we're going to hit around seven to thirteen dollars within that week span now keep in mind nothing I say in this video is financial advice this is pure entertainment purposes because I'm not a legal or financial advisor but judging by my technical analysis and my external factor analysis that is what we're looking at really that seven to thirteen dollar range now there's been actually multiple price predictions in which here's one by the XRP moon which cites he predicts a 72 hour 40 to 65 dollar per xrp upon completion of the lawsuit or upon a settlement being announced and then he states that after some chart movement they will go ahead and see that surpass the 65 dollar range once Ripple starts announcing US-based customers, the products go live and the banks go live with XRP, we're looking at around $500 per every single XRP. Now, this is again a massive, massive price prediction, specifically since XRP is only priced at around the 53 cents mark right now. So it would be like massive gains. The amount of money and wealth that would be generated, XRP you know, investors would be basically millionaires, if not billionaires. But generally, there is a very wide range of predictions for what the price of XRP is going to be upon completion of the lawsuit. And again, this is very important to understand because it could be as early as tomorrow to which we see a settlement. In another analysis, CryptoBull has stated he believes that we will see about $4.60 by the end of April for XRP's price and then $27 by the end of May. So again, like I told you guys, you have price predictions from $7 to $13 to $27 to $500 there is a massive wide variety of what people predict the price of XRP, but I'm showing you guys everything so that you guys make your own analysis. My personal one is seven to $13 upon completion of settlement, but maybe you believe it's going to 27 or $4 or $500. In fact, a veteran trader known as Peter Brandt shares his bullish outlook on XRP, setting the price of $3 per XRP once the lawsuit settlement is complete. He also listed the fact that he believed that the three dollars would be the bare minimum and that it will most likely even surpass that using his technical analysis and as you guys know the sec chairman gary gensler is officially set to testify before congress on crypto regulation this is important because i want to once again emphasize the fact that the federal reserve and the federal government is now looking at cryptocurrencies as a means of integration and acceptance they've failed to go ahead and destroy it so now they're looking at how do we integrate it and use it and innovate with it as quickly as possible before all these other countries do so and so they're heading to gary gensler first the innovation destroyer the one that's literally suing companies left and right on a false basis now my prediction is that we will see in the next probably couple of months that all the crypto lawsuits with the sec have been settled or you know they just ended up getting resolved or the results have come in and this is just because the federal government wants to get everything over with so that they understand where they are and where their stance is and once they have officially kind of gotten these crypto lawsuits out of the way then they can focus on how do we integrate and use this new technology and outpace everybody else so i think that's exactly what we're looking at now i do see a lot of federal you know congressmen come out and start speaking about the fact that you know we're done we have to find a way to accept cryptocurrencies as fast as possible specifically since the BRICS or as you guys know China Saudi Arabia which has now recently joined the BRICS or is planning to join the BRICS and has entered into agreement Russia and all of these other countries have decided to officially combine their strategies and their wealth and use this new blockchain technology for their benefit the United States is trying to catch up to them and try to benefit from this innovation as well and outpace them so I think that's what we're looking at right now the US is going to try and compete with the innovation 
and use this blockchain technology to their advantage rather than try and destroy it because they have failed to do so. Alright guys, that's going to be the end of today's video. I know it's a bit of a shorter one. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to the channel with your post notifications, and let me know your thoughts down below. As well, share this video to your friends and family, and let me know your personal XRP price predictions as a result of the Rippleverse SEC lawsuit. Where do you think it's going to go? Is it going to hit $7? Is it going to hit $1? Is it going to go down or up? I'll be reading all your comments and responding. Thank you guys so much for watching the video, and I'll see you guys next time.